construction has commenced on the first section of the Metro Manila subway project, following a groundbreaking ceremony in Pasay City on October 3. Manila's new metro line runs for 33 kilometers from Valenzuela City to Ninoy Aquino International Airport, serving a total of 17 stations. It is expected to be fully operational by 2028, with eight car trains carrying up to 2,242 passengers each. Work has started on contract package 104, CP 104 awarded to a joint venture of Japanese contractors Tokyo and Tobishima with Megami construction of the Philippines for 17.75 billion pesos or 301 million US dollar. One of the seven civil works contracts for the Metro Manila subway, CP104 covers the construction of the stations at Ortigas and Shaw Boulevard and 3.4 kilometers of tunnels using tunnel boring, machines, TBMs. A further 19 TBMs will be launched on other sections by the end of this year. Metrowalk Commercial Complex is one of the major commercial hubs in Pasay. It is located on a 5,000 square meters parcel of land at the junction of Ortigas and Meralco Avenue in the Ortigas Center Central Business District. It occupies a large part of the 18 hectare or 180,000 square meter in Pionig Sapasig property. The existing buildings within the commercial complex will be demolished to give way for a planned redevelopment. The new commercial center will be named Pasig Smart Dream City. This project is the last urban complex development site of the three central areas of Manila and the Philippines to be built in the LCS Group owned Blemp site. Metro Walk Project is the largest single complex development project with a total area of 160,000 square meter, and the iconic tar site area 13,000 square meter. Building area 173,410 square meter will be constructed first. In this future, Area A, total area of 50,202 square meter. Project Area, 847,340 square meter will be carried out as the first project. The first development site of Ortigas in the Philippines with a total area of 50,202 square meter has been approved by the local government, including demolition, and construction permits have been issued for the first phase development project with two offices and two residences to be built on the site. In addition, the iconic tower development project will be carried out through the joint development method with the central government of the Philippines and after completion, PCGG a government office under the central government of the Philippines, will move in.